How is it going guys? I hope you guys are having a great day. As you can tell from the beginning, I went to Bass Pro Shops today. Now, I got quite a few brands of stuff. Now, I didn't mean to pick up too much today, but I said, hey, you know, I'm not always there. I can't always pick up everything I want. And I got braid guys, but there's a funny story to this braid. Now, um, you're seeing this video. The one I did before this had me winding up the braid. It had everything inside with me going over. It was a little long and it just ended up stopping and said my card was damaged so I had to switch SD cards. So anyways, my reel is already spooled, which I was gonna do a part in the video on. But if you guys are wondering, it is 15 pound Invisibri Invisa X by Seagar. I think I got like 50 yards left or so. So anyways, I'm gonna go over the baits and not the line because I don't think that's too interesting. So to start off with, I'm gonna start from small to big. So this is my favorite, the Denny Brower Structure Jig. Now the reason this is my favorite is the way the head is shaped. And it really lets it glide over rocks and go into cover really nicely. So that's the first thing. It is in 3 4 ounce black and blue. Next thing guys is some Culprit Fat Max 9 inch. To be quite honest, this thing um, should be called the Ultra Fat Max and not just Fat Max because it's a when you see it, you're going to be like, "Ooh, that's a lot better than regular Fat Max." is now check that out this i definitely want to use right now these changing temperatures and these bass are going to want some opportunity so check that out look how thick that thing is it's pretty much the width of my finger so that's the first thing that is it because they are such a good brand sorry about that weird thing now, the next is, it's called the Tomahawk 8.75 Blue Flake, Blue Fleck. Now, this is similar to the Culprit Double Trouble that they made a while back. And I still got some of, probably haven't used it in a video at all. So, let's check this out. Now, it's pretty big, but... The double ribbon tails makes it have a lot more of a presentation and this going through the water is definitely going to be seen. Now it has like a triangular look to it that um, definitely helps it go straighter. It's going to be my first one, first time using these, but I've had good luck with the first double troubles by Culprit, which are amazing baits. If you can find them guys, pick them up because they're kind of hard to find usually find them on retail when they have like old stock back in the 90s and stuff and early 2000s so the next is a new brand guys i've never fished this before like i fished munker hunt but i don't think this is the same company at all so these are called man i'm trying to focus my camera is not doing exactly what i wanted to do there we go these are called munker city now these are the Thin Shad Arkansas Shiner 5 inch. These look really cool. I especially want to use these for um, for bedding fish in spring. Now spawning in Florida is weird. We got about four months of spawning. It's kind of weird, but we get such even temperatures that bass will spawn a lot. So that is that. I would, man, I can't wait to try these out. These are so nice. I'm gonna just have to find the right day for these. So the next thing is another Lunker City. I got two different Lunker Cities. I just thought they're such a such a cool like um, such cool shapes and the way they make their baits. You get quite a bit for about five dollars. I wouldn't say it's too expensive, even um, like um, Strike King Grave Crawls for five sixty nine. So I guess uh, about the same price, but you do get a little bit more. This is the next thing. Let me actually show you the bag. This is called 
Bunker City Sluggo. And the color is Smelt. Hashtag 116 Smelt, six inch. These things definitely are really nice. They're gonna pretty much resemble a fluke with that little broken back there. It's gonna do a lot of erratic movement. I think it's gonna be perfect for summer, fall, and spring. Especially flukes are really good for fishing in beds because you can keep them in for a very long time. Because that's a big key when you're fishing beds is keeping that bait in there for as long as you can. Because the more you mess with that fish, the more she is going to bite. Well, he if it's already laid its eggs. So anyways, next thing guys is, I seen these and I was like, whoa. I, at first, I thought they were just speed crawls. But these, I believe are super speed crawls. Yeah, super speed crawls and watermelon red. Now, I thought these are really cool. Because they're definitely going to put a lot more commotion into the water with these bigger claws. As you can see there, look how big those claws are. And they double as a really nice trailer. You could already use them as a trailer to regular speed claws, but these just have such a bigger presentation. So guys, that is all from this haul. I'm going to be going fishing after this, so I'm going to just kind of combine the video. So I hope I don't make this too long and then the fishing will just be a super long video. So guys, I'm gonna get ready to go fishing. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. It's gonna be my first time using fluorocarbon, so wish me luck. So guys, thanks for watching this portion. I hope you liked the rest of the video. And remember guys, right now, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, support me, help me get closer to 250 guys because that giveaway is still on. So anyways guys, hope you guys are having a great day and I hope you guys like the rest of the video. Keep it rolling, I'll be right back with you. Just got out here, so I got my chest mount on and I'm gonna get right into the action guys. I'm out at this little pond, you guys see me here before. Turn around this way where I usually do some top water action. So I'm gonna get it today, I'm gonna be throwing all along these edges and see if I can't get anything. So I'm gonna switch over to the camera and let's get fishing. All right guys, let's get it. So first time ever fishing with fluorocarbon as my main line. So we're gonna see how this feels. Definitely feels a lot, a lot smoother. And I gotta really get used to this. Wow, already. And it's still doing it. It's gonna take a while, a little loosed starting to get wet brand new string you got to break in that's a carbon can be a little bit of a pain but it's worth it all right guys so I fished there for a bit I'm still trying to get used to fluorocarbon and how it casts and I got so many, I got more backlashes in that 10, 15 minutes than I did my whole last month of fishing. So if that says anything, definitely means I got a lot of backlashes right there. This reel I'm gonna dedicate to it now. And then I'll probably slowly work up into other reels. Probably one of my top water reels. But I don't think I want to do that to my top water reel because I want some nice, quick tension. Especially for laying those big boys. We're gonna fish this here. I'm gonna go back over there. You probably can't see it. Point to the cow. I'm gonna get you guys in just a second. Well guys, I hope you liked the video. At the end in there, I caught a bass, but um, it was a little dark for the GoPro, so I didn't really get it. Um, I might post it on Instagram or something. Oh yeah, I already did. So if you wanna see the bass, go look on Instagram. But anyways guys, like always, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and keep it rolling guys. One,
that you love. 